Hey YouTube, good old Luke working out here at night, uh, changing the oil in the Bolaris tractor. I just wanted to show you real quick how this goes, how to change that centrifugal filter. Uh, I've got my oil draining out. While that's draining out, I just want to show you what we're putting in here. That's the oil we're going to use. Just, just note that it's a oil designed for diesel engines. It's a 15W40. The uh, service manual recommends that for multi-grade oils that a 15W40 is for a climate of 10 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and beyond. So for the climate here in South Carolina, that's going to be just perfect. If you take a look right here, there's that centrifugal filter. Just got one nut up there at the top. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart and see what it looks like. After you take that lid off, this thing's got one more bolt on it. filter slides right up and off the shaft. Alright, let's get this thing into the shop and get it opened up. Okay, YouTube, we're here in the shop. There's our inside of our oil filter. And what we're going to do is just come down here on the base and make a little mark put one reference mark there and one on the bottom and the reason we're going to do that is because this is a a, a balanced assembly so we just want to make sure that it's to keep it balanced the way it was that we're putting it back together just like we found it and once we've done that I'm going to go ahead and spin this top bolt off Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to remove this screen. We're going to clean everything in here with a little bit of uh, kerosene. Uh, we're going to clean the inside of the canister, make sure all this holes in this perforated screen are clean, clear. And we're going to clean this up. And the only thing we really need to check on here, we'll take a little bit of wire. And if you see these little ports right here, we're going to check both of these ports just make sure they're clear look at all that crud in there that's good, you know, it shows that filter was doing its job keeping this crud out of the motor this really is a fantastic piece of technology, you know, when you think about it Car makers today, they wouldn't make a, a filter like this. Now I think they, car makers want to make the cars so difficult to work on. Largely, they I think they hope you won't do any maintenance and you'll be back to buy another car. And throw yours away when it needs maintenance. But something like this is pretty cool filter that has no no disposable parts in it. Every, everything in here is metal. The, the only thing I see is, is there is a rubber seal around the base here and that could possibly deteriorate it. I mean I think the oil would keep it in pretty good shape and it seems to be in good shape and you figure that's already lasted almost 30 years Well, we've got this thing all cleaned up. Now all that's left is to put it back together. The 
remember to line up our pencil marks. That's got a YouTube. Let's put it back on the tractor. Slide that back down over the shaft. Looks good. Good. Put all the tiny nut back on. Don't want this tight. You just want it to seat in place. And about another eighth of a turn. That's it, YouTube, all back together. Now we just gotta fill it up with oil. Okay, we'll check that oil level on the dipstick. Should be right to the B mark. And that's exactly right. Put in 7.4 quarts. Just shy of two gallons. And we are ready to go. Okay, YouTube, here we go. Cranking it up with the fresh oil change. 